Ronan no O'Shea here. It's signing day 2011 at the University of South Florida, and I'm joined now by USF uh, assistant football coach Kevin Patrick in charge of the defensive tackles. And Kevin, good to talk to you. A special day Thank for you. you. I know it's uh, a bit of a relief seeing the faxes come in, the national letter of, of intent come in, and for you, some talented players came in uh, earlier today. Yeah, it, it's definitely a release. I mean, relief. We so much time and energy and patience too has gone into this day. And just to see the ink, the paper, and have them come across the facts, it, your, your hard work's paid off, you know. And, you know, you're, you've, you've closed those deals, and you now become a true coffee drinker, you know, as they say. So uh, it is. And it's been a great day for USF overall. But uh, selfishly speaking, I couldn't be more excited about the guys that we've got up front. Coach Hargraves and I got up front. Uh, we're excited about him. We've always been excited about him. And, and, and Al Kino Watson, he was the number one guy on our board from day one. Yeah. Over everybody in the state, of all the intangibles, the personality, the academics, the family, I mean, just everything as a whole. So uh, we're excited. The, the, the USF's future looks very bright, and we can't wait to get them all here. Let's step inside the chat room here and get some questions from Bulls fans. Again, Bulls fans, if you have any questions, you're talking to a guy who's gone out and done the recruiting. Here's your opportunity to speak directly with a uh, head co or with a, a coach here, member of this USF football team. We'll start with throwing gas seven seven five two. This was actually a tweet, and it was, uh, Coach, what are your first year expectations for Todd Chandler and Elkina Watson? I know you just touched briefly there uh, on the latter, but if you want to uh, get your thoughts on your first year expectations for those two, you know my. Elkino, my biggest expectation right now for him to, is to come in in great shape. Come in in great shape. Spend these next several months prior to his, his arrival here at USF and be in the best possible shape, not only physically, but mentally as well. Uh, and, and that's really it, because everything from here on out, when we get him on, them on campus, that's when we start putting our fingers and molding that thing to where we want them to be and, and working with them to get them going in the right direction. Another question here coming from uh, K-Rock DeBull, and it says, uh, do you expect anyone on the line to raise their level to Dancing Bears? There's big, some, some big shoes there to fill. Yeah, I tell you, uh, uh, Dancing Bear was in yesterday and came by and saw me. It was good to see him. He's, oh, man, what a great job he's done. Yeah. You know, postseason as far as all the all-star games that he's been in and really raising his draft status, so to speak. So I, I think uh, it's great for him, great for the university, and great for the D-line that, uh, you know, program we've got here um, and again I kind of lost myself there going on it but what do you say they want to know if anybody on the uh, line can raise, raise themselves yeah. to the level of someone who's know. expecting to be drafted I don't, I, you know I don't want anybody to come in and be the next George Selby or JPP right. or you know or Terrell McClain I mean but uh, I, I tell you you know we've got some phenomenal guys on board now uh, we've got some great recruits I mean I tell you the guy who's probably as close to the type of athlete that Dancing Bear was would be Alkino Watson. I mean, they, you want to talk about an, an unbelievable athletic ability, great feet, great hands, can do a lot of the same things that Trail is able to do, and that's why we went after him. That's where we got him. Ken's got a question here about Alkino. He had a USF hat delivered to him in front of the crowd. Looks like a good group of young defensive tackles over the next four to five years. You agree with that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know. Keith McCaskill, you know, a guy who's been around for, you know, a while now playing, and he really has been, a, you know, the glue of the front, you know, done anything we've asked him. You look at to Corey Grissom, uh, Luke Sager, uh, you know, Anthony Hill, Todd Chandler, Demi Thompson, and just now to add these other guys on top of him, it, it is a strong, strong defensive line class, and we're excited about it. I think we lost some great players, and, you know, and I'll tell them this too, but I think even next year, second year with the defensive coordinator and the head coach, I think we're going to even be better. Got a question here from Casey about some guys that we saw play this past year. He wants to know if Giddens is penciled in as a starter in the spring. I'll let Coach Hargraves answer that. <laughs> uh, you know, and the way I look at it is, hey, every day your job's up for grabs. So uh, penciled in, well, let's, let's get out on that field and see where we're at when, when spring ball starts, and we'll, we'll go from there. Cause I, I think that's the, that's the only fair way to go with everybody out there because you never know. Every year somebody – you know, that maybe you didn't expect to be have an impact that season kind of just shows up out of nowhere. So who knows? So we'll, we'll see how it goes when we, as we get closer to spring. And then after that, we'll see how it is after spring, and then we get into camp. We're about a month away from the start of spring football. As, as a coaching staff, what are the types of things you're working on in this time? Okay, signing day is officially come and gone. 
we got a month or so until we can move into spring football. What are the things you're focusing on? What are the things you can do this time of the year? Uh, we're, we're, we're focusing on 2012 and even a little bit of 2013 recruiting class. This, you know, just because signing days a day it doesn't stop. This is a, you know, a yearly thing that we do. Uh, our guys, uh, Coach Golden's doing a phenomenal job with our guys in the weight room. We, we, we want to trim them down, get them stronger, get them faster, get them more explosive, and just make them an all-around better person, better athlete, and better student. Well, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what you can do. So many good players, particularly on the defensive side, have come through this USF football team. All eyes are going to be on the Dancing Bear when draft day rolls around uh, in April. And uh, congratulations, such a fun year. Eight wins, first year under head coach Skip Holtz, a trip to the Meineke Car Care Bowl. The trophy speaks for itself. And a successful signing day, certainly up to this point. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, all the hard work we put in last year has paid off, and now it's just a, you know part of the building blocks for this coming year. And it's going to be exciting. Everybody needs to stay tuned and get out there and uh, cheer us on and be around. And, and we're going to share it with everybody. And we want everybody to be involved. It's fun to see all the energy around this football program. And certainly we'll keep in touch as we move towards spring football. Much more coverage here from National Signing Day 2011 right here at GoUSFBulls.com. A reminder, Bulls fans, if you haven't already, be sure to click on Signing Day Central. We've got a list of all of the current recruits that have committed to the University of South Florida along with video highlights so you can actually get your first glimpse of what they did on the football field in high school. We've got much more coverage throughout the day. We're here until 3 o'clock. Be sure to check out the Bulls Vision tab just above me as Jim Lauk will continue updates from the Verizon Fios desk.